Morning world, it's about 8.30, 9am in the morning on Monday the 11th of January 2021. Today is a pretty big day astrologically, not as big as the next 24 to 36 hours, but still pretty damn big. As I speak, it's a void moon. The void moon will change, the moon will change into Capricorn around 1.30pm UK time. That's about 8.30am in the morning New York time and uh, around 7.30 p.m., what am I saying? Around midnight 30 a.m. in the morning Melbourne time. As we speak today, today, Mercury in the sky is conjunct Jupiter. Within the next 24 to 36 hours, Mars in the sky will square Saturn. And in less than 48 hours time, it will be the new moon. And I'll do a video on the new moon tomorrow. But in the meantime, Mercury conjunct Jupiter. Now, on the surface, there's nothing to dislike about this aspect. Mercury brings communication skills, the way you read, write, think, speak and move. Jupiter is about growth and expansion, optimism, philosophy, humour and hope. Yes, Mercury can be a bit pedantic, but in, in Aquarius, Mercury's in a strong space. Jupiter in Aquarius is reasonably comfortable because Aquarius deals with the hopes and wishes and the aspirations of people and the desire for community and a better world. And Jupiter will go along with all those concepts because Jupiter at its heart is quite optimistic and bouncy, even if he is a bit of a drama king. Well, so when you've got Mercury and Jupiter together, it brings on the surface an optimism, a hope, the desire for an uplifted mind, the way to exp express oneself in a more um, communicatively assertive way without being confrontational or aggressive. And Mercury conjunct Jupiter in Aquarius is a lovely position for um, dreaming in a positive future. This is all on the surface, and that's all rather nice. Underlying it, Mercury and Jupiter are both still loosely conjunct Saturn, also coming up to square Uranus and squaring Mars in Taurus. So there is an undercurrent here. But first of all, before I discuss that, let's look at the other big thing that's going on, Mars square Saturn. Now, Mars is about being projective and assertive. Now, I know Mars has just left Aries, for which a lot of people are really happy. But uh, Mars is in Taurus now. It's not really the best position for Mars because Taurus is known for its solidity, stability, effort, consistency, down-to-earth pragmatic and practicality. Whereas Mars goes, I want it all now. And it's all about me. So Mars in Taurus is someone who um, will put their physical energy into being determined, thorough, perseverant, but at the same time will do so with a bit of a sort of a hump. They've got a bit of, bit of a grump about them and uh, they're always going to be very sort of, oh God, I've got to work hard. Mm, don't want to do it, but I'm mm, going to do it. All right. Um, Mars square Saturn in Aquarius. Saturn in Aquarius, I'm not too unhappy about Saturn in Aquarius, to be honest. It's bringing a degree of structure into some of our more unrealistic ways of looking at towards how the future is going to be. It's forcing us to deal with the world and especially the material stroke financial side of the world uh, in a much more realistic way than we have in the last few years. But Mars square Saturn, difficult aspect, it produces cold anger, especially in fixed signs. Where this, this, if this was Mars square Saturn in Capricorn, as we've had a lot in the last six months, it's the lashing out. It's the spontaneous eruption of uh, anger. Whereas Mars square Saturn in fixed signs is going to be more of a cold anger where it's like, right, I'm going to do this. Get out of my way. I'm going to do it and no one's going to stop me. And if you do, there's going to be trouble. But it's not trouble as in aggression or or uh, strong words or 
problems like that. It's 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 trouble as in the unstoppable force. I will push my way through here. That picture of what was his name, Jake Agnelli, the the uh, alleged shaman of QAnon in the capital being released at the moment, at the exact minute that Mars moved into Taurus. There's this picture of this guy with a spear with a flag on it and a great big pair of bull's horns on his head. At the very moment that Mars moves into Taurus, that photo was released. You can't make it up. Um, when you've got Mars square Saturn, and Mercury conjunct Jupiter. Mercury conjunct Jupiter is going to amplify everything. Normally in a positive way. Mars square Saturn is going to act as a kind of resolute, resilient, determined, cold anger thing. So Mars, Mercury conjunct Jupiter could amplify this. One way or another, today's going to be a day where it's going to be lots of words, lots of resentment, quite a bit of cold anger, and there's going to be a lot of sort of toing and throwing, each side's, many different sides batting against each other. This is particularly going to be aspecting those people born in the first two or three days, three or four days of Aquarius, Leo, Taurus and Scorpio. So if you, one of your friends or one of your family are born in the first four days of these four signs, then either cut yourself or cut them some slack because this is not an easy time for them and they may find themselves under a great deal of pressure or they may be giving in to pressure and saying the first thing or doing the first thing that comes into their head without thinking of the consequences. And then of course we've got this killer new moon in the next 48 hours, just under 48 hours from now and that's, that's when I say killer new moon, I don't necessarily mean in a terribly bad way. There's going to be some real positives about this. There's also going to be some real challenges. So I'm going to dedicate a long video tomorrow to that new moon. Might even do it later today because I'm going to be really busy working tomorrow. Okay, that's me done for the day on this one. Catch you later world. I hope this has been helpful. And if you're born at the start of the fixed signs, be careful today. Don't, don't let your mouth run away with yourself and walk away from other people's arguments or challenges. Take care now, world. Bye now.